Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe there is a corruption alert event going on for the next about month where you can get some free corrupted mods each week by simply running an alert. What's going on is you just go to alerts each week and it's available for three days starting on Friday, it looks like, for the next month. Today is a heavy caliber mod alert. You have to run the Eris mission. It's a hive infestation and it should be pretty fast. They have the full schedule online here at their Warframe website. September Corruption Alerts earn sick rewards every week throughout the month. And that's, that's what this is. Hear that, Tenno? It's the skin crawling sound of a pu boy, pul <laughs> pustulating infestation. I kept wanting to say wanting to say pulsating, but I just, it wasn't right. Anyways, every weekend for the next four weeks, a new alert to get a free corrupted mod. This week, Hive Mission, September 6th to 9th, Heavy Caliber, Credits, Easy, Simple, Fast. Next weekend, 10 Minute Survival on Nimus, Nimus? Either way, September 13th to 16th, you'll get Depleted Reload and Credits, a little bit of a higher level. Week 3, September 20th to 23rd, it's a Mobile Defense, enemies level 30 to 35, and you can get Tainted Shell and some credits. Lastly, Week 4, September 27th to 30th, a disruption mission 40 45 level and you get magnum force and a stratos stratus emblem so overall decent enough rewards if you need it and let's quickly run the hive mission just to you know do it we'll run it publics because why not and we will get a heavy caliber mod outside or i should say after the mission is done the corrupted mods are like pretty good overall, but they're nothing that you need to use per se in every build, right? You can use them here and there. It's not a necessity, but they are good mods to have, you know? So I would run these if you haven't obtained the mods or maybe if you for any reason want to back up. I don't really see why most people would, but corrupted mods are decent. More so if you're going for any sort of specific builds, but hey. Hive missions, if I recall correctly, it's just a mission where you you go destroy a hive by shooting like the five tumor points and then rinse repeat, right? So you just shoot out the tumor points and then, yeah, that's all. It's not that bad. You can see them on the map if you look at the mini map. So it's pretty easy to find them nowadays. I don't know if they were always viewable on the mini map, but it looks like this one's gonna be in here. So yeah, always just look at your mini-map. It makes the hives really easier. If you want to min-max this while one person's doing one hive, someone else should like go run to the other hive, because there's like three, right? So while maybe they do hive two, I could run to hive three. It's not a big deal either way, because the hive missions are, as you can see, really fast. It's just kind of a speed run. Just pre pretend you're just going zippity zoppity zoo, right? Throughout the whole thing. And yeah, remember if you want to be a homie, subscribe, like, and you can use Epic Games Creator Code Pupscare if you ever want to. Buy every anything on the Epic Games Store, Fortnite, Warframe, etc. and so forth. Oh god, where am I running? Yeah, we're just running around. And then one last hive over here. Right, it's a really fast mission. I'll probably only make like one video reminder this week. Don't think I'll make a video reminder every week or anything, just because these are pretty simple missions. Each week, it'll just be run mission, get item. And that's always pretty fast of a objective to do. Other than the like force 10 minute survivals and everything. That'll take a little longer. But hey, that's okay. You see, you see how fast that was? And now it's like, dang. Yeah, if you just look at the mini map, pop it up whenever the you're near the hive. The little yellow triangles are the tumor nodes, so not bad, not bad. But I think I already, oh no! I'm pretty sure I already have all of the, maybe I'm missing one of the corrupted mods this week. I haven't gone out of my way to ever farm every single mod in the game and I never will. Cause that's just kind of a long time. Not really a fan of that. Oh, I should have used that down, dang it. But yeah, that is the mission. It took a solid like two and a half minutes uh, in a quick public match and it was by no means difficult because it's like it's a low level mission so probably gonna be a lot of low level players as well, new players trying to quickly run the alerts because I would say, no shock, corrupted mod alerts are better 
four new players. So you'll probably see a lot of new players running around trying to grab some loot. I do think they should have given out like two corrupted mods each week because there's so many corrupted mods in the game. And only getting one every week is kind of like a kind of a letdown, let's be real. There should be a couple, because if you're farming corrupted mods, you just have to hope on RNG. And it can be like really rough. And that's not fun every time. <laughs> not fun every time. So hey. Still not bad. Let's just let's just do a little clapper. You know, they're doing it. We're winning. You fight well, friends. The power of teamwork and friendship. We did it. We did it. See? Mission complete. Excellent work. And there you go. You get your heavy caliber mod. Corrupted mods are the ones with a positive and a negative, right? That's the idea behind it. It's not the best, not the worst, but it is a good damage boost if you need it. If you want to, like, double up on damage. Don't have a ton of damage mods yet. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers. Cheers.